Yo, folks, what's up? Today we're going to be learning how much fun it is to read the Bible. So sit back, relax, and also learn how much God loves you. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation. Folks, I almost forgot to mention, Body Odor is awesome! For the Lord thy God is a consuming fire, even a jealous God. Folks, I just got done spending 13 minutes on my knees praying for the Lord to change my life. Listen, I was sitting here in my room at home watching iCarly on Netflix, and and the Lord said, get down on your knees and, and pray. Well... I was on my knees praying for 13 minutes for him to transform me, keep the devil out of my way and off my back. Folks, listen, the purpose of this video is for us to ask God to make us want, want to do that whenever he sees fit and maybe once a week. So, so folks, just please, 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 pause this real quick. For t I'm going to give you 10 seconds to pause it in just a second. Read Matthew 6 and 7 with Matthew 18 and Hebrews 13. And, 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 and 1 John 1. And, and John 8, if you have not memorized those passages, but even if you have memorized them, please read Matthew 6 and 7, and that's it. Now, I'm going to count down, I'm going to count down 14 seconds, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Uh, heavenly, heavenly Father, would you cause myself and every Christian to want to want to get down on our knees fourteen minutes once a week and just pray during that time once a week for you to totally transform us in the way that you would see fit and also during that time give us a desire to to pray to love doing what it takes to to keep the devil out of our lives out of our pads and off a, and 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 off our backs and off and off our butts give us a desire to pray at least 14 minutes every week for you to transform us in the ways that you see fit and also pray for the devil 
to be kept off and out of those things I just mentioned. I forgive those that have sinned against me. I confess my sins. I ask this for me and every Christian in, in Jesus' holy name. Father, thank you. Amen. I said, I said 13 minutes, but I meant 14 minutes. I am the Lord your God, which brought you out of the land of Egypt to be your God. I am the Lord your God. Turn ye not unto idols, nor make to yourselves molten gods. I am the Lord your God. Ye shall not therefore oppress one another, but thou shalt fear thy God, for I am the Lord your God. Leviticus 26 Ye shall make you no idols nor graven image, neither rear you up a standing image, neither shall ye set up any image of stone in your land to bow down unto it, for I am the Lord your God. Ye shall keep my Sabbaths, and reverence my sanctuary, I am the Lord. If ye walk in my statutes, and keep my commandments, and do them, then I will give you rain in due season, and the land shall yield her increase, and the trees of the field shall yield their fruit, and your threshing shall reach unto the vintage, and the vintage shall reach unto the sowing time, and ye shall eat your bread to the full, and dwell in your land safely, and I will give peace in the land and ye shall lie down, and none shall make you afraid. And I will rid evil beasts out of the land, neither shall the sword go through your land. And ye shall chase your enemies, and they shall fall before you by the sword. And five of you shall chase an hundred, and an hundred of you shall put ten thousand to flight, and your enemies shall fall before you by the sword. For I will have respect unto you, and make you fruitful, and multiply you, and establish my covenant with you. And ye shall eat old store, and bring forth the old because of the new. And I will set my tabernacle among you, and my soul shall not abhor you. And I will walk among you, and will be your God, and ye shall be my people. I am the Lord your God, which brought you forth out of the land of Egypt, that ye should not be their bondmen. And I have broken the bands of your yoke, and made you go upright. But if ye will not hearken unto me, and will not do all these commandments. And if ye shall despise my statutes, or if your soul abhor my judgments, so that ye will not do all my commandments, but that ye break my covenant, I also will do this unto you. I will even appoint over you terror, consumption, and the burning ague, that shall consume the eyes, and cause sorrow of heart. And ye shall sow your seed in vain, for your enemies shall eat it and I will set my face against you, and ye shall be slain before your enemies. They that hate you shall reign over you, and ye shall flee when none pursueth you. And if ye will not yet for all this hearken unto me, then I will punish you seven times more for your sins, and I will break the pride of your power, and I will make your heaven as iron, and your earth as brass, and your strength shall be spent in vain." For your land shall not yield her increase, neither shall the trees of the land yield their fruits. And if ye walk contrary unto me, and will not hearken unto me, I will bring seven times more plagues upon you according to your sins. I will also send wild beasts among you, which shall rob you of your children, and destroy your cattle, and make you few in number, and your highways shall be desolate. And if ye will not be reformed by me by these things, but will walk contrary unto me, then will I also walk contrary unto you, and will punish you yet seven times for your sins. And I will bring a sword upon you, that shall avenge the quarrel of my covenant. And when ye are gathered together within your cities, I will send the pestilence among you, and ye shall be delivered into the hand of the enemy. And when I have broken the staff of your bread, ten women shall bake your bread in one oven, and they shall deliver you your bread again by weight, and ye shall eat and not be satisfied. And if ye will not for all this hearken unto me, but walk contrary unto me, 
then I will walk contrary unto you also in fury, and I, even I, will chastise you seven times for your sins. And ye shall eat the flesh of your sons, and the flesh of your daughters shall ye eat. And I will destroy your high places, and cut down your images, and cast your carcasses upon the carcasses of your idols. And my soul shall abhor you. And I will make your cities waste, and bring your sanctuaries unto desolation. And I will not smell the savour of your sweet odours. And I will bring the land into desolation. And your enemies which dwell therein shall be astonished at it. And I will scatter you among the heathen, and will draw out a sword after you. And your land shall be desolate, and your cities waste. Then shall the land enjoy her sabbaths, as long as it lieth desolate. And ye be in your enemy's land, even then shall the land rest, and enjoy her sabbaths. As long as it lieth desolate, it shall rest because it did not rest in your Sabbaths, when ye dwelt upon it. And upon them that are left alive of you, I will send a faintness into their hearts in the lands of their enemies. And the sound of a shaken leaf shall chase them, and they shall flee as fleeing from a sword, and they shall fall when none pursueth. And they shall fall one upon another as it were before a sword, when none pursueth and ye shall have no power to stand before your enemies, and ye shall perish among the heathen, and the land of your enemies shall eat you up, and they that are left of you shall pine away in their iniquity in your enemies' lands, and also in the iniquities of their fathers shall they pine away with them, if they shall confess their iniquity, and the iniquity of their fathers, with their trespass which they trespassed against me, and that also they have walked contrary unto me, and that I also have walked contrary unto them, and have brought them into the land of their enemies, if then their uncircumcised hearts be humbled, and they then accept of the punishment of their iniquity, then will I remember my covenant with Jacob, and also my covenant with Isaac, and also my covenant with Abraham will I remember, and I will remember the land. The land also shall be left of them, and shall enjoy her Sabbaths, while she lieth desolate without them. And they shall accept of the punishment of their iniquity, because, even because they despised my judgments, and because their soul abhorred my statutes. And yet for all that, when they be in the land of their enemies, I will not cast them away, neither will I abhor them to destroy them utterly, and to break my covenant with them, for I am the Lord their God." But I will for their sakes remember the covenant of their ancestors whom I brought forth out of the land of Egypt in the sight of the heathen, that I might be their God. I am the Lord. These are the statutes and judgments and laws which the Lord made between him and the children of Israel in Mount Sinai by the hand of Moses. Leviticus 27. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, For the Lord thy God is a consuming fire, even a jealous God. Folks, folks, this is what the Lord will do if we don't follow the commandments He wants us to follow. And it shall come to pass, that as the Lord rejoiced over you to do you good, and to multiply you, so the Lord will rejoice over you to destroy you, and to bring you to naught. And ye shall be plucked from off the land whither thou goest to possess it. Voice over on, Bible, lands, I change not, therefore ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. I change not, therefore ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Voice over off. I am in the Father, and the Father in me. Or else believe me for the very works' sake. Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me, the works that I do shall he do also 
and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. If ye love me, keep my commandments, and I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. Even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him. But ye know him, for he dwelleth with you, and shall be in you. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. Yet a little while, and the world seeth me no more. But ye see me, because I live, ye shall live also. At that day ye shall know that I am in my forever. Amen. For if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if ye forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Judge not, that ye be not judged. For with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. And with what measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you again. And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but considerest not the beam that is in thine own eye? Or how wilt thou say to thy brother, Let me pull out the mote out of thine eye? And behold, a beam is in thine own eye. Thou hypocrite! First cast out the beam out of thine own eye, and then shalt thou see clearly to cast out the mote out of thy brother's eye. Give not that which is holy unto the dogs, neither cast ye your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under their feet, and turn again and rend you. Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For every one that asketh, receiveth. And he that seeketh, findeth. And to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. Or what man is there of you whom if his son ask bread, will he give him a stone? Or if he ask a fish, will he give him a serpent? If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your Father, which is in heaven, give good things to them that ask him? Therefore all things, whatsoever ye would that men should do to you, do ye even so to them, for this is the law and the prophets. Enter ye in at the that straight gate, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And Prayer is not sending God to run on your errands. A Christian can see more on his knees than he can from his feet. You can see more clearly on your knees than you can in the Tower of Americas on your feet. Prayer is not getting God prepared to do your will. Prayer is getting you prepared to do God's will. Prayer is the only way to release the supernatural power of God in your life, in your marriage, in your business, to show you great and mighty things that you know not. Prayer is the key that unlocks the gates of heaven and closes the gates of hell. Prayer is... Folks, listen. In this video, you have been learning how to, how to, how to... Stay close to God, and this video can also help you learn how to be willing. This video can also learn how to be willing, how to be willing to pray to love exercising for at least half an hour every day. I really do hope this has helped you. There is probably more coming up. I just had to throw that in real quick. Thank you. I meant to say this video can help us learn how to be willing to exercise at least half an hour a day, maybe even two hours a day. I don't, I don't recommend more than two hours a day. I just had to clarify myself.
Thank you. Folks, listen. Day before yesterday, I heard a cuss word. And yesterday, I, I accidentally cussed. When you watch this next part of this of this video, you will learn how to stop cussing. You will you will also learn how to how to stop hearing cussing and you will also learn how to be willing to exercise read read your Bible and do what and do what the Lord of the Bible wants you and I both to do. No need to thank me. But there is but there is probably more coming up authoritic knees and whispers the name Jesus. Every demon in Harris County down in Houston, Texas starts running for the Gulf of Mexico because the warrior is on her knees praying with absolute power. Prayer has the power to cure sickness and disease. Prayer can shatter the shackles of misery and habit that are tormenting your life or the life of your son or daughter or the life of your husband or wife. Prayer does not need proof. Prayer needs practice. Folks, listen, as I was watching this video that I'm showing you parts of by John Hagee, I was thinking, I, I prayed for at least two years, if not three. I prayed for the last two or three years, right after I graduated high school, for football to be kept out of my life. I prayed for football to be unable to be a part of my life in any shape, form, or and or and or fashion and I will never ever ever forget this several years back I was at my grandparents house I was I was in my bedroom there I asked I asked the Lord to not let me be considered a black cat by him you see the black cats are the school's mascot of the high school that I went to and also the middle school and I suppose the elementary school too and I will never ever ever forget this day I will never forget what 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 the Lord said to me the last the last time I asked him to never consider me a black cat he said he said you are no more one of him he said you are no more one of them than I am those were his exact words he said you are no more one of them than I am so folks I prayed that at least two two or three years after I graduated high school so I just thought I would tell you that and listen and listen that was three or five years ago and 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 after after the Lord told me that I have never been called a black cat ever not once I've been I have never been called a black cat I have never been called a black cat from the day he said that until this day right now folks folks today is april 23rd this is a friday and today is april 23rd from the day the lord told me that until this day right now i've never been considered a black cat i've never been called a black cat never not once so that proves it the lord will answer your your prayers although I cannot count the days weeks months minutes seconds or hours that I that I prayed that I prayed that every day or almost every day from the day I graduated high school till the day he told me that so, so that so that right there showed shows shows you he will answer your prayers that I recommend that you
pray to be patient in case he doesn't answer your your prayer for more than a month or longer. Hope this helps you. No need to thank me, but there is probably more coming up. Folks, here is one more reason to pray. After you, after you hear this next passage, you will learn. We should, we should read the Bible and, and pray. That way, that way, we can ask the Lord to make us unable to make him mad at us. Folks, here is one more reason to pray. After you, after you hear this next passage, you will learn. We should, we should read the Bible and, and pray. That way, that way, we can ask the Lord to make us unable to make him mad at us. Be sober, be vigilant. Because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. And roll out their lower lip and pout about being persecuted for being a Christian. In the midnight hour, they sang songs of praise unto God. And God sent from heaven the angelic squadrons that danced around that jail. And they walked out of that jailhouse with the jailhouse keys in one hand and converts in the other. Because of the power of prayer and the power of two. Two witnesses in Revelation 11.3. God says, and I will give you power to be my witnesses. That would be Enoch and Elijah who have not died, but are coming back to the tribulation to demonstrate the power of God. God sent his disciples out two by two. He's bringing them back two by two. They will have the power to turn water into blood. They will have the power to call fire from heaven. They will have the power to call plagues and drought to cover the earth. I want to tell you something that's real power. How do they get that done? They have two people coming together in agreement. Consider again now the supernatural power of two. Why the supernatural power? Because you have supernatural enemies. You have supernatural enemies. Paul wrote in Ephesians 6.12, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, that's earthly things, but we wrestle, wrestle against principalities and powers, against the rulers of darkness, against wickedness in high places. No, that's not Washington. That's wickedness that's in the heavenlies. Folks, listen, since a Christian can see more on their knees than we can on our feet, we can also pray more successfully to be unable to make the Lord mad. For the Lord will not forsake his people for his great name's sake, because it hath pleased the Lord to make you his people. Moreover, as for me, God forbid that I should sin against the Lord in ceasing to pray for you, but I will teach you the good and the right way. Only fear the Lord and serve him in truth with all your heart. For consider how great things he hath done for you. Folks, listen. If you read Matthew 6 and 7, you can, you can pray to love, to love doing what this next passage says to do. But I only recommend praying to love that after you read Matthew 6 and 7. And maybe Mark 9 and 11. But, but definitely Matthew 6 and 7. And he answered and said unto them, What did Moses command you? What thing soever I command you. Observe to do it. Thou shalt not add thereto, nor diminish from it. What I meant by that is, you can pray to be, to be as, as obsessed as you possibly can with doing what the Bible says to do. You can, you can pray for that to be your top priority and most importantly you can pray for that to be your number one number one obsession no matter what under every single 
circumstance. I hope you follow this advice. No need to thank me, but please let me know if you do in the comments below, but there's probably more coming up in this video. Thank you. Heavenly Father, I forgive those that have sinned against me. I confess my sins. Would you please give myself and every Christian on earth the desire to pray for more, to pray for more boldness, and also give us the desire to pray that you will pull down every kind of stronghold in your people's lives. And also, would you give us a desire to pray for every person on earth, Christian or non Christian to be willing to do what it takes to love exercise because it is healthy for the body and I ask you to not let us yield to temptation make it as 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 impossible as you can for us to hate our enemies I ask this in 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 in, in Jesus' holy name. Father, thank you. Folks, no need to thank me, but there is probably more coming up in this video. But let me know if this video helps you in any shape, form, or fashion. Let me know if this part helps you too. Thank you. The Book of Genesis, Chapter 1 in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. And God saw the light that it was good. And God divided the light. Folks, listen. You just heard what? Genesis 1 says well listen if you're like me and and you don't like to exercise Matthew 7 says asking you shall receive Matthew 6 says if you forgive those that have sinned against you you will be forgiven but if you don't forgive them you won't be forgiven you can you can ask the Lord to command you to love exercise you can ask him to command you to be obsessed with with time with him and with prayer and exercise too. Malachi 3 says, he changes not. Let me know if this helps you. There is probably more coming up, but don't thank me. And Jesus answering saith unto them, Have faith in God. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. Therefore I say unto you, What things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. And when ye stand praying, forgive, if ye have aught against any, that your Father also, which is in heaven, may forgive you your trespasses. But if ye do not forgive, neither will your Father, which is in heaven, forgive your trespasses. And they come again to Jerusalem, but overcome evil. Therefore, if thine enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirst, give him drink. For in so doing, thou shalt heap coals of fire on his head. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. Chapter 13 Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power but of God. The powers that be are ordained of God. Whosoever therefore resisteth the power, resisteth the ordinance of God, and they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. For rulers are not a terror to good works, but to the evil. Wilt thou then not be afraid of the power? Do that which is good, and thou shalt have praise of the same. For he is the minister of God to thee for good. But if thou do that which is evil, 
be afraid, for he beareth not the sword in vain, for he is the minister of God, a revenger to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. Wherefore ye must needs be subject not only for wrath, but also for conscience sake. For for this cause pay ye tribute also, for they are God's ministers, attending continually upon this very thing. Render therefore to all their dues, tribute to whom tribute is due, custom to whom custom, fear to whom fear, honor to whom honor. Owe no man anything but to love one another. For he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law. For this thou... Folks, if we pray to love reading the Bible as much as possible, we can pray to do these things. And keep God first priority love 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 exercising the right amount of time and we can also pray to love doing what it takes to willingly obey and love doing what Romans 13 says to do I hope this helps you. No need to thank me, but there is probably more coming up in one video I'm working on. But I might, but I might post this part of the video in its own, in in its own individual copy. But I'm also putting it in, in, in another video I'm w working on. Thank you. I am the Lord, and there is none else. There is no God beside me. I girded thee, though thou hast not known me. Yet I am the Lord thy God from the land of Egypt. And thou shalt know no God but me, but there is no Saviour beside me. Thus saith the Lord, the King of Israel, and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, I am the first, and I am the last, and beside me there is no God. Folks, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you pray to not want too much of what you don't need. But Matthew 7 says, Ask and you shall receive, seek and you shall find. Matthew, Matthew 6 says, If you forgive those that have sinned against you, you, you will be forgiven. But if you don't forgive them, you won't be forgiven. But I highly recommend, if you're like me, and you use your iPad a lot, and if you have a cell phone, but you like keeping it turned off when you don't need it because people bother you too much, I recommend that you ask the Lord for just enough money to buy a second iPad. That way, whenever you don't want bothered, you can keep your phone turned off when when, when one iPad needs n charged. I hope this helps you. No need to thank me. But this can help you with any financial problem you have. For the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth thee power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant which he swear unto thy fathers as it is this day. Pray without ceasing. Hi, folks, here is one more awesome, awesome, awesome reason to pray to love time with God in every shape, form, and fashion. We can pray to keep our mouths shut willingly, and to, and to be unable to have a bitter attitude and or bitter, 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 
experiences of any kind, no matter how much, no matter how often from now on. Hope this helps you and let me know if it does, but don't thank me. Folks, we can also pray to be unable to see anything, trip, place, or, or experience as a bad, bitter, mean, rude, or awful thing. And we can also pray to not be bitter when anyone does us wrong, bothers us, or treats us bad. Hope this helps you no need to thank me. And we can also pray to be unable to treat others that way. That way. Thank you. No need to thank me, but let me know if this does help. But remember, Luke 6 says to love your enemies and treat them good and be good to them no matter what. That is in Luke 6. And we can also, we can also pray to love doing this too. <laughs> we can pray for this to be super awesome, mega fun time. Following this heavenly too. Father, I forgive those that have sinned against me. I confess my sins. Please make myself and Christians unable to forget to pray or not yield to temptation. And please make us unable to, to remember bitterness, harsh words, and bad, bad experiences, no matter how bad they were. I ask this for myself and every single Christian in, in Jesus' holy name. Folks, no need to thank me. If, the, if this helps, let me know in the comments below. Folks, folks, listen. If you're like me, and sometimes you're, you're, you're distracted using your phone, video games, TV, cable, satellite, or, or, or Netflix for any reason, and you don't, and you don't spend as much time with, 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 with the Lord as, as you should. Every, every few minutes or so, maybe 15 to 45 at most, we could, we could pause the show we're watching, or we could do this during commercial. And we could ask the Lord to make us love doing what it takes to stop all distractions. That way we will love reading the Bible and having time with Him. Romans 10, 17 says, Faith comes by hearing, hearing by the Lord's Word. Matthew 6 says, To pray that we won't yield to temptation. And if you forgive those that have sinned against you, you will be forgiven. But if you don't forgive them, you won't be forgiven. Matthew 7 says, Ask and you shall receive. So we can so we can pray to love following this advice. And also we can pray to love praying about temptation. I really do hope this helps you. No need to thank me. A servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad, greeting. My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, that giveth to all men liberally, and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. But let him ask in faith nothing wavering, for he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Let the brother of low degree rejoice in that he is exalted, but the rich in that he is made low, because as the flower of the grass he shall pass away. World of Iniquity so is the tongue among our members, that it defileth the whole body, and setteth on fire the course of nature, and it is set on fire of hell. For every kind of beasts, and of birds, and of serpents, and of things in the sea is tamed, 
and hath been tamed of mankind. But the tongue can no man tame. It is an unruly evil, full of deadly poison. Therewith bless we God, even the Father, and therewith curse we men, which are made after the similitude of God. Out of the same mouth proceedeth blessing and cursing. My brethren, these things ought not so to be. Doth a fountain send forth at the same place sweet water and bitter? Can the fig tree, my brethren, bear olive berries, either of vine figs? So can no fountain both yield salt water and fresh. Who is a wise man and endued with knowledge among you? Let him show out of a good conversation his works with meekness of wisdom. But if ye have bitter envying and strife in your hearts, glory not, and lie not against the truth. This wisdom descendeth not from above, but is earthly, sensual, devilish. For where envying and strife is, there is confusion and every evil work. But the Folks, listen. Matthew 22 says one of the most important commandments is to love the Lord with all your heart and everything in you. Well, listen. Here is one of the reasons to pray to love. Here is one of the reasons to pray to love, asking him to make you love, and praying to love him, to love him, as much as possible. Matthew seven says, "Asking you shall receive, seek, and you shall find." John fourteen says, "Ask and it shall be given you. Whatever ye shall ask in my Father's name, it shall be done." Matthew six says, "If you forgive those that have sinned against you." You will be forgiven, but if you don't forgive them, you won't be forgiven. One second. <coughs> Pardon me, folks. So, folks, listen. One of the, one of the other, most, most, very most important reasons to love God with all your heart and to do whatever it takes to love Him is is so that you can have answer is so that you can have answered prayer and also when you know you will get your your prayers answered you can pray to be unable to to revolt uh, to revolt against against God no matter what I hope this helps you no need to thank me but let me know if this does help you in the comments below but don't like me. Now, for a recompense in the same, I speak as unto my children. Be ye also enlarged. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion hath light with darkness? And what concord hath Christ with Belial? Or Ha, huh, folks, here is here is one more awesome reason to pray to love the only God who is the God of the King James Version Bible. A friendship doesn't have enough cushion to survive a busted iPad. Traveling technician Michael Tillman is suing his friend for an iPad and laptop. Defendant Devlin Clark says it was an accident. Now it's Joe time. Let's see, Mr. Tillman, you're suing Mr. Clark. It would seem that December 4th year last, the two of you were hanging out in the bathroom smoking cigarettes when you decided to step outside. Uh, your iPad, which was on the sink countertop, was knocked off by the defendant. You say the defendant also broke your 15-inch MacBook Pro. Yes, Your Honor. Year proceeding still is not paid for that. You say that, again, that was a result of his negligence or ineptitude. Your defense, sir, is that it was an accident. Yes. And that the only reason you touched the iPad before it fell and was broken is because the plaintiff asked you to pick it up for him and you dropped it by accident.
I am the Lord, and there is none else. There is no God beside me. I girded thee, though thou hast not known me. Fear ye not, neither be afraid. Have not I told thee from that time, and have declared it? Ye are even my witnesses. Is there a God beside me? Yea, there is no God. I know not any. For our God is a consuming fire. So, folks, if you love the Lord with all your heart, you can ask ask the Lord to make it as impossible as He can for you to be mad at somebody for anything at all. Matthew Matthew twenty two says to love your neighbor as yourself is one of the most important commandments. Mark nine says all things are possible to those who believe. Philippians four says I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Romans 10 says, Faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the Lord's word. I hope this helps you no need to thank me. Folks, listen. One more very, 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 very important reason to pray to love reading the Bible is, if you read the Bible, you can pray to love reading it for two hours every day, and then you can also ask the Lord to command you to be unable to be worried, scared, mad, or angry whenever you shouldn't be. I hope this helps you. I hope this really does help you. Let me know if it does, but do not thank me. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, thou wilt revive me. Thou shalt stretch forth thine hand against the wrath of mine enemies, and thy right hand shall save me. The Lord will perfect that which concerneth me. Thy mercy, O Lord, endureth forever.